Martin Spikas ran a race to raise money for his Ridgely Middle School. He finished in last place, yet was so proud, so proud. So how does a runner who finished in last place make it onto the news? Because as you're going to find out, nice guys do finish last. Look at him go. All the runners in front have finished and he's being chased by big tree trunks. I just kind of wanted to, to see how well I could run. Now, let me show you the magic. Nothing up his sleeve, but when he raises his pants leg. Well, I just told him to have fun, just to do your best. And, you know, it was his first race. He lost his leg in a lawnmower accident at the age of two. Dad had to teach Emerson how to walk twice. I made him a prosthetic leg. Uh, down in my little shop in the basement, and we start working after the doctors cleared him. We start working towards uh, him walking again. Dad retired from the military and spent time rehabbing wounded veterans. Never did he think an experience of getting them back up on their artificial feet would one day lead to helping his son find his. From my military service, how in the future it came to help with him. So a few Saturdays ago, Emerson decided to make a run for it. It was like Really exciting for me, even though I, I got like last place. But something inside of him took first place. Keep going in Possible because even if you have like lost your arm or both your legs or both your arms and legs, you still can run, jog, you can pretty much do everything that any other human being can do, but better. Upperclassmen were amazed. It shows that you can do anything. And when he first started originally, he kept his leg a secret. I wore like long pants all the time, and then I eventually like wore shorts. And then people were like, oh, nice leg, nice leg. They were going to move his class off of the second floor so he didn't have to go up and down those steps. He said no. Emerson is really an example of the community that we have here at Ridgely Middle. Hard work, dedication, um, getting, you know, perseverance, all of that. I've coached for 38 years that I thought this story needed to be told because this guy just didn't quit. Dad saw in the news years ago about a two-year-old injured in a lawnmower accident on the Eastern Shore. Dad and Emerson paid a visit to the mom at the hospital. He said she had a dream of Emerson and I visiting them that night, which was really weird. That kind of freaked me out, too. I was just like, wow. What we have here is an amazing race that proves Emerson's race to inspire will be life's greatest marathon. I want to show the world people with disabilities can also be useful in life. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I went over and hugged him. I tell you what, 2.5 miles, Wow. three times around the school, the last one, the kids who already finished went back and helped them across the finish wow. line. So they didn't carry them. Yeah. They just escorted them across the finish line. How about that? That's something.